Hi everyone, welcome to Marika Creations. Today I will share with you how I made two dream catchers. One is like a moon shape and the other one is the tree of life. So stay tuned for that. Dreamcatcher Moon and I have these three black metal hoops that I bought for I think it was less than three dollars and uh, for the first project I will use the biggest one and the smallest one to create a moon shape and I will attach them together by using some jute twine that I will wrap around uh, the, the shape there and uh, so they are secure. And I will keep on wrapping until I am happy where I want my uh, crescent moon to start and then I will just secure it with a bit of glue and I do the same on the other side so it would look like that. And now I'm on to making the, the web if you will. Do you see what I just did there? Uh, pull it through the loop. And I have the distance that I want, uh, the size I want for my web. And I do that all the way around the moon shape. And when one lap is done, I continue just pushing <laughs> the, the twine into the hole of, that I just made on the first lap and uh, doing that on every loop. It's better that you watch me do this than me explaining, I think. It's the same technique. And I continue doing that all the way around. Now I've done some work and uh, I continue the same fashion. And when the loops are very close to each other, I tie them together. So it will be one unit in the end. This video is also part of a challenge, Sunday Fun Day, and it is hosted by Yanni and Diane over at Deco Easy and Yvonne at Ginger Chic Rehab. And if you're not familiar with these ladies and their channels, jump on over right after this video and check out what they have to offer. I will leave links to the channels down in my description box along with the link to the playlist of this, this challenge so you can get loads of inspiration. And when I'm done I just tie a knot and uh, secure it with some glue and uh, cut the excess off and it looks like this at the moment looks like a dream catcher I believe a rustic one and now I will um, create uh, the long strands and I'm taking jute twine to approximately the length I want and I'm just measuring out same length on every strand and 
and then I'm just tying them onto the dream catcher, the lower part of it. And when I'm done with the jute twine, I take other uh, yarn, pieces of yarn, and do just the same routine. And I uh, have this uh, beautiful yarn uh, with a lot of texture. It's perfect to use for this. Same technique, just looping them onto the dream catcher. And I also have some black yarn and some white yarn that I will use. And I have this beautiful crystal that I will just put in the center of uh, the empty space there hanging from the moon. And I also have these four crystals that I will use dotted around in the actual moon shape. And now I am taking feathers and I will tie them this like that and I will tie them onto the yarn just like a double knot and cut off the excess and I will do that all the way around in the V shape that I have laid the feathers out in. And here I am cutting just below the feathers in the V shape and the excess I will use for another project so I'm saving these long strands and another thing that I will do that I didn't do on camera is to string some fairy lights around this moon shape and um, it's a battery operated um, fairy light and I will just hide the battery pack um, behind the strands hanging down and camouflage them with some feathers so you won't see them and here it is hanging on the wall with the fair lights on looking super cute and do you see the crystals dotted around as well and the large one in the center and around there is the ba battery pack but it's hard to notice and i'm pleased with that What do you think? I think it turned out great. It will fit perfect into the core in my future bedroom. Can't wait to hang it there.
Dream Catcher Tree of Life. And I take this medium size hoop that I got in the three pack I showed you earlier and I have a different kind of yarns, mostly white, some macrame cord and um, one with a little hint of green in it. And now I'm taking long strands, sizing them up all of the, all of the yarn. I can't really give you the length, I didn't um, measure them, but let's say around um, a little less of two meters, give or take, because I will need it to do the tree and then the rest hanging down, cascading from the hoop. So I'm starting by um, tying the yarn onto the hoop like so and I do that with all the, the, the yarn and I do the same with the macrame cord. If you're new to my channel, hi! I am Marika and on this channel I do lots of DIYs, thrifting, decorating, renovation of my home, some pottery, some painting, anything creative really. Please join me. Hit that subscribe button and the notification bell and let's be friends. And now on to creating the branches of the tree and uh, I, there's no rhyme or reason to it really. Uh, first I start out with like, just like twisting the yarn uh, just a tiny bit and uh, taking just a tiny clothespin, tie them and I do that with two or three and then I will tie them together twisting them a little bit and, and see where I want the branches some a little longer some a little shorter and then I take all the combined threads and uh, here I braid them but I can do some macrame knots or just continue twisting them uh, it's just a matter of preference and I do a little bit of each because uh, I want that um, variation and uh, visual interest. Now I have done a variation of branches and I'm taking all of uh, the yarn and tie them together just twisting and uh, just place the branches where I want them just figuring out how it looks better and now I'm tying up just a tiny thread temporary thread there and I'm dividing uh, my yarn into three pieces and then I'm doing some macrame knots and then it's time to spread out the yarn on the bottom of the hoop to create the roots of the tree just tying a knot on the hoop and let the rest of the yarn hang. And I will take care of that a little later on.
and here is the final touch I'm cutting the yarn to size a V shape and I will also attach a few crystals on some of the strands and here it is the tree of life I love how it turned out I will also have that in my future master bedroom so tell me what do you think did you have a favorite of my dream catchers leave me a comment down below you know I love to read them if you like this video and videos like this be sure to hit that like button and the subscribe button for more inspirational videos Thank you so very much for watching. See you soon again in my next one. Until then, take care. Bye.